Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com and thank you so much for watching my video. So this is the last video in the playlist for uh, adding your mailing boss leads and getting your email marketing set up in uh, mailing boss. Um, and in this video, we are going to learn a little bit more about the difference between a broadcast email and a follow-up sequence and some other cool little tips and tricks that I want to share with you uh, as you get your email marketing going inside the Build Your All All-in-One digital marketing platform. Uh, so if you want to check out this last video in the playlist or if you've missed out on the other videos, make sure to click on the link below this video as I have included the whole entire playlist inside my description box but if you want to just wrap it up in a nice bow and learn how to differentiate between the different type of emails that you can create in mailing boss then keep on watching <laughs> Hey guys and gals, well thank you so much for watching my video. Again, this is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com. Please take a moment to just like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Alright, so let's just go ahead and dive right into the content. You know the drill. Let's go ahead and uh, log into our BuildDraw account. So let's log in. Okie dokes. Let's go ahead and click on Mailing Boss Autoresponder. Okay, now as you can see, I've got my email sequences. Okay, boom, boom, boom. All these are my email sequences. Okay, and when you click open any of these, okay, it'll open up all your emails. Okay, it'll show you here the campaign count. So let me just because this is a little confusing. It, it was confusing to me and it's always been confusing to me no matter what uh, email provider I use. But campaign is basically another name for your emails. Okay, for a uh, for a set of emails that you are sending out for a specific purpose. Okay, so you have a list and you want to create a campaign. It is like a um, you know, a sequential uh, grouping of emails for a specific purpose, okay? So let's say, for example, let's say you have a four-day campaign promoting a certain uh, product, okay? You can still create a campaign and send it to a specific list of subscribers, all right? So treat a campaign as like a like a promotional kind of thing for one specific purpose, okay? And it's just another name for saying, you know, a group of emails, okay? So what we want to do is I want to go ahead and go back to the very beginning here, okay? And I want to show you how you have here a few uh, options. You can do an email regular or an email sequence. Now, the difference between an email regular and an email sequence is the email sequence is what we've been doing up until now, which is your follow-up email campaign. What happens is, is when someone opts in to your capture page, let me show you an example really quickly. Let's, let me, I'm a visual person, so let's show you an example real quick. Okay, so here we are in one of my funnels inside of a Builder All, okay, and it's for my Rise, uh, my Rise Branding Academy, my five-day How to Sell Without Selling Marketing Challenge. If you haven't taken that already, by the way, <laughs> it's a little plug here. I didn't mean to do a plug, but hey, while I'm here, might as well uh, go ahead and you can enroll now at any time. So I'm going to go ahead and click Enroll Now. All right, so now what happens is, is once someone enters their name and their email in these little spots and they click on yes, start the five day challenge, they are going to end up on my mailing boss list. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to be able to follow up with these people automatically. If I am at the beach, or if I'm, you know, at church, or if I'm hanging out with my family, um, I want to be able to drive traffic to this capture page with my videos, right? And then people will click on my links, and they will automatically go through this process and enter their name and email. So what happens is my autoresponder, my follow-up sequence, will go ahead and continue to follow up with those uh, brand new subscribers um, at a at a frequency that I've set in advance, okay? So that is what 
uh, a sequence does. Now, now let's say, for example, I have a one-time 24-hour special running, right? And I want to uh, email folks on the fly in real time. Then I would go ahead and I would say email regular, okay? And I would create a regular email. I would create new. And then I would go ahead and name the thing. So one time offer a 24 hour special, right? And then I would choose here regular or autoresponder. Okay, so remember autoresponder. It is autoresponding to anyone that you, uh, you know, that enters into your opt in list, okay? Regular means it's a regular day on the fly. I'm broadcasting outside of the regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on regular and then it's going to ask me choose which list you want to send it to. Do I want to send it to my build draw partners, my viral marketing system, my five day how to sell without selling. It'll let you choose from your list right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click there. Okay, so then I just select the list, all right? And then now if I want to segment, let's say, for example, you know, there's people that don't open my list whatsoever, right? They don't open my emails or anything like that. And I just want to send this out to the uh, people that actually open my emails, okay? I can segment this list. So users that clicked on at least one link, right? Users that never clicked on a link, users that never opened a campaign, users that open at least one campaign, users that open the last two campaigns. You see how you can drill down and get really specific? So because you can test the interest level of the leads on your list by uh, selecting these behaviors. So if you have something that's really special, let's say for example, you have a list of 100 people and 20 people, they're diehard open your emails, right? and say, you know what, I want to offer a special just for those 20 people on my list. I want to segment and send to these people who are actively clicking on my links. You could even craft your email so that says, hey, I've noticed you've been opening my emails. I've noticed that you have been doing etc. but you haven't taken action on this one little thing yet. So here's what I want to do to get you off the fence, right? I want to offer you a one-time special of XYZ. Okay, so that's just a way that you can do that, all right? So I'm not going to segment though now, um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to skip these things. I, I haven't used tags yet. Uh, as I learn more, uh, uh, you know, on how to, how to really, uh, really maximize and optimize what uh, Mailing Boss can do, I'll share those uh, videos in the future. But right now I'm just going to kind of keep it where I'm at, which is more at the a medium level. Um, so we'll just leave it right there. Okay, and then save it next. Okay, and then it's going to say save it next. Okay, now here you just go ahead and you can put your subject line. All right, so this, remember, this is different from adding this email to your follow up sequence. This is an email that's going to go live. So let's just say testing a broadcast email. Okay, so now we're going to go to save it next. Okay, and now you're going to go ahead and you're going to uh, enter your information here. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it there. All right. And now it's going to say save it next. Okay. So I'm not, I don't want to do any of this yet. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and then if you click send campaign, Boom, it's going to send it. Okay, so I would not send it right away. I would make sure and test your campaign first. Okay, I would make sure and test it first. So let's go ahead. Let me see what's under advanced real quick. Under advanced, send this campaign only to subscribers that have opened or have not opened a single campaign as follows. Subscribers that have, okay, cool. So here you can either drill down. Oh, this is really awesome. Um, I got to go back and actually study this, but it has some really cool features uh, so you can drill down further. But let's go ahead and I want to just test this template first. Okay, so I want to remember we want to test the emails before you go live. The last thing you want to do is send out an email where the link doesn't work or things are misspelled. Okay, 
you want to test the template first. So it's going to tell you, you know, let's test the template and then you're going to be able to send it to yourself first. If you're not 100% sure how to send yourself a test email, I've got that video in the playlist, so make sure to check it out, okay? So send yourself the test email, and then if it's okay, okay, then if it's all right, then you'll go and you'll click uh, Save and Next. Let me go ahead and put here, uh, let me see. So we're going to go ahead and send it to yourself okay and send the test okay and then once it's all right you're going to save it next and now it's going to say confirm the campaign send it at this time or you can even schedule it so let's say for example the you know i want to i'm going on vacation and i want to write these emails in advance right uh, and uh, let's say I uh, let's say today's the 20th but my sale is going to be it's going to start on Monday but I'm not going to be here and I really don't want to open up my laptop to schedule that email I can go ahead and schedule it here whoops I can schedule it here okay and what time do you want to send it at uh, let's see I want to send it at 7 in the morning okay and you just select an at, you know around the time that you want to send it so let's just say okay 7.05 a.m. So now, boom, it is going to send it out at this time, at 423.18 at 7.05 a.m. You know that that broadcast email, okay, is going to go out at that specific time to everyone that is on your list or anyone that you segmented off and chose to receive this email, okay? So that is the difference between the follow-up sequence and an actual broadcast or regular email one goes out to everyone on your list in real time or when you choose and the other one is just part of a follow-up sequence after they opt in to whatever it is that they opted in to begin with okay now the last thing I want to show you is let's create just one more email so that I can show you how to activate your follow-up campaigns and how to uh, change the sequence the sequential order or how to program the sequential order so that they are receiving the emails uh, you know um, in, a, in a timely manner after they opt in okay so I'm gonna go ahead to email sequence and I will go ahead and choose the new builder up part partner follow-up emails okay so I've got the one that's going to go out on Monday and then I have this one okay so I want to add an email okay so let's go ahead and click on add an email okay and it's going to automatically uh, kind of like copy the other one okay so we just want to say you know follow up email number three okay and we just want to say you know Welcome to day two of your five day training. Okay, and now we're just going to leave this right here. We're going to click on done. Okay, now what I want to do is I should have done it before. I'm going to go ahead and edit this sequence because I want to change the order here. Okay, so welcome to day two. I want to go ahead and click here. And I want them to receive this on the second day after they received the last email, okay? So after subscribe, two days later, all right? So we'll just leave this at day. And then you can do, again, send to current and future subscribers. Now, again, like I mentioned before, let's say you already generated a bunch of leads and you still didn't have your follow-up campaign ready. Okay, so you can send either to current and future subscribers or if, you know, part of your offer is no longer relevant, you can just go ahead and send it to future subscribers only. So we'll just go ahead and leave it to send to current and future subscribers. Close. Okay. And then save. Okay. So now you'll see that this is going to go two days after this one. All right. And then you can just keep on adding emails and adding emails and adding emails to the sequence.
So now my email is activated. Okay, so now we're done. Okay, and this is basically, you know, it'll be your dashboard. It'll show you, you know, how many people you opened, uh, ho how many people opened your emails, how many people, you know, um, unsubscribed, how many clicks you got. You know, you can tell which emails are active, which are not, which are paused. All right, so there's a lot of things that you can learn right here on this particular email dashboard, okay? That gives you a pretty comprehensive idea of how to, you know, create your email list, add your follow-up emails, create a, um, you know, autoresponder series and a broadcast email, how to schedule your emails. Um, and so that is all you need to follow up uh, with your list. And then always remember to go back to the tools that you have inside of Builderall, okay? Go inside these tools. Um, let me see. Let's go inside, especially here. This is a really, really valuable um, tool inside the uh, Builderall uh, platform, and that is to really learn more about email marketing and um, you know check these things out so that you have an idea uh, when it comes to like cop copywriting and um, you know creating uh, emails and stuff like that like the re-engagement series uh engagement whitelisting email sequence uh, i think this is a really good one too this one is what like uh you know this is good for a double opt-in yeah this is really good i want to take a second to say hello and welcome you to the family seriously on behalf of myself and tyra but you know that this it's not fair here Here's what you should, see this is this is okay if you're on my personal team and you are just wondering about that double opt-in and what should your first confirmation email be, here you go. This is how you whitelist, okay? You want to get people to whitelist your email. I may even do a separate video on this, okay? But make sure to add this video, I mean, I'm sorry, this uh, email inside your follow-up campaign, um, and that will... Um, you know, it will satisfy the double opt-in first confirmation to make sure that people uh, add you to their whitelist so that you don't get sent into spam or junk folders. Okay, so anyway, that is it. Uh, I could go on forever about this. I love teaching this stuff. So if you are not on my Team Rise uh, marketing team inside of BuildRaw and you would like to be, please go ahead and look in the description box right below this video i've got a bunch of links there that you can check out whether you want to use the tools to build your business online or you want to actually you know share this tool with others and make a little extra income on the side or if you would like to learn more about how you can work one-on-one -on -one with me uh, so i can help you build your business online uh, i'll have those links in the description box below as well so anyhow this has been Barbie Figueroa. Thank you so much for watching this playlist. Remember, there are several videos in this playlist. Make sure to go back and watch each and every single one. Um, They're going to give you a full view of how to get your email marketing campaigns going um, so that you can connect it to any sales funnel, opt-in form, blog form, anything that you want to do inside of Builderall. Uh, this is the back-end follow-up procedure to make sure that your leads are hearing from you now and in the future. So this has been Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com. Please take a moment and like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, I love to engage with you guys in the comments. So please leave any comments in the comment section below. And as always, I will see you on the next video. Bye.